Hello, everyone. Hi. Uh, let's see, who have we got here online? Say hi, everyone. Um, whoever's online, I'd love to hear from you. I'm excited today because I have Bonnie here with me. I'll um, introduce her in a minute. Um, but the reason I'm excited is because I get asked the question so many times um, as to how this work works. How do you express the power in your DNA? What does it mean to express the power in your DNA? And it's just like the amount of times I get asked that question, um, you know, warranted for me to actually do this. Um, there, there's, there's so many things I want to say, um, but I'm just going to wait a few seconds for people to show up. Can you say hi if you're here? Because I can then see your comments. Um, let's see. Okay. Well, we'll carry on. So... How do you express the power in your DNA? What does it mean? Well, there's so much that I can say. Hi, Sarah. Sarah. I remember you said to say your name that way. Hi, Robin. Thanks for saying hi. Okay, so what does it mean to express the power in your DNA? What it means, hi, Linda is that we already have this divine consciousness within us. When we can be present to that, you're going to be witnessing that today. How do we get present to that consciousness within us? But the number one thing is to be present to what we feel. What's the thing that we feel in the moment? Because that is our gateway to connecting with that power inside of us. And as we do that, by being authentic and connecting with every feeling we have, we are connecting to that consciousness and being present to it. And as a result of that is where your DNA, the power is expressed in your DNA. What does that mean? That means that your consciousness, the divine energy, whether you call it God, source, light, whatever you want to call it, that is already existent in you. Because when you were in the womb, it knew how to grow a toe in the right place. It knows how to grow the hair in the right place, you know, the eyes, everything. It just knows. But what happens is that when we um, gather our beliefs, whether our own or inherited from our parents or even from our ancestors, anything that they've experienced, we are then um, expressing that through our biology by the way we think and feel. So actually the feelings come from the beliefs that we hold. And so what happens is that that life begins to reflect back to us because we're judging, we're, we're witnessing through these beliefs. And so we get, we get out of touch with that consciousness, that presence of this divine within us. And so what this work is, is really to get in touch with that consciousness because that is where the magic happens. Let me say that I don't do anything. This work is really me getting out the way. And you're going to see that. So um, I'm going to bring Bonnie on now. Um, and then we're going to just chat and and then we'll we'll get going so let me hi bonnie hi hi well i want to say that there was 31 people that um i posted it on facebook 
um, the other day and there was 31 people that wanted to come into this and, and, and be part of this. And I um, gave that number to a friend and said, pick a number and, um, and you came up. And I was glad that you did. And, you know, there's no coincidences in this, in this world, you know, in that sense. Um, it's all perfect. So I know we were discussing before we got on about how, um, you know, how does the, the DNA express the power? And there are so many other things. And one of the things that you said was, um, does the, you know, do we change the way that the DNA is, right? Isn't that what yeah. I, I, I did not understand and still don't yet really what epigenetics is because, you know, you get the DNA and I, I thought, well, somehow you change it or what is it you do? And the microscopic thing and then how do you translate that to the client? It was a mystery to me. Yeah, yes. I'm, yeah, no, I'm really glad, and I've said this to you before, that I'm really glad that you asked that question because this is also one of the reasons why I'm doing this is because a lot of people just don't understand that um, what you know how this works, and so what I what I was saying is that um, when we were talking earlier, and I'll say it now, is that you know if you're going to build a house, you have a blueprint, and that blueprint is a piece of paper with a whole map of how the house is going to be uh, built, and this then the contractor comes in and he builds that house. So this is analogous to the blueprint being our DNA and the contractor being um, it can it can be the consciousness that we have within us and that is when we express that power inside of us or it can be um, say the contractor comes in and he's upset about something and he does a shabby job on how he builds that house and shabby is not a judgment, but it's just that it's not as perfect or in, in alignment with that consciousness that it could be. So in the same way that when our bodies are um, showing up in a way that, you know, because innate, our innate, it, we're built with health, we're built with well-being. That is that consciousness, that's, that's what it is. But then why does all this other stuff show up? It's because we have inherited um, things from energy from our ancestors, that traumas that they may have had, um, different uh, scenarios, different beliefs, you know, different things. I mean, we just have to look back in the history books to see what exactly has happened for it to result in us, you know, uh, just, the, 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 just, we just have to look back, right, in history books. So there's so much that has taken place. And when we um, recognize that those are the things that we carry in our energy field, all of that is around the DNA. So when we um, integrate all of that, and by that I mean bring into wholeness, we allow for the, the divine within us to be expressed. And how that shows up, I mean, I don't know. We don't know, but what we do know is that when we do this work, that will show up in some way or the other. And that's, that's the important point. And, and what you said about the DNA changing, so it's not so much about what the DNA, the DNA is not changing because that's the blueprint. It's, it's the expression and the expression of that can change just a huge, I mean, there's every gene can be expressed many thousand ways. So, you know, we have the potential for, for health with that. Does that make sense, Bonnie? Oh, yes, yes. Fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Was there any other questions you had on how this works? 
No, I thought you you explained that pretty well. And and then so if you change the how the gene is expressed and you change your energy, then the energies you're sending out draws like the law of attraction. It draws better energy back to you, and and so you shift things in your life. Yeah. So with with the with the law of attraction, um, you're right. Yes, you're right that when we shift the vibration that we're at, um, when we've integrated all those things, we shift. Now, um, the thing with law of attraction is that it's right in that sense. But the other aspect to that is that if we are constantly saying, I am healthy, I am well, but yet we're feeling something else, then we're not being authentic to what we're feeling. And when we're not being authentic to what we're feeling and allowing that to come forth, then we're moving away from self-love. And so we can say as much as we want, I'm healthy, but it's not, it's almost like we're counteracting that, but because the other energy that we have is not being uh, witnessed. So, and I know we're going to go into that with you, uh, which you're so kind enough to, to, to do this, you know, in, on, a, on a live show here to just show this to people. And also, like I said to you earlier, my intention here is to be here for you as if this was a, a, a true session. And, um, and that's, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so everyone watching, um, this is what you're witnessing. Is, is how a live session would go. Um, and also I want to let everyone know that I've started a, a Genome Alchemist Club this month. And this is the kind of work that I will be doing on that. Um, so, right. Um, so let's, let's get started. I mean, unless you have any other questions. No, let's go. Um, okay. So do you want to just mention where you're at with, you know, why you want to work with me? Yes, I raised my hand when you asked that question because I am, you said, does anyone have a big issue? And I feel like I'm at a big turning point in my life. I've been disabled, disabled, diagnosed disabled for about 30 years with a immunological disease or illness. It's a sister to lupus and MS, scleroderma. It's very, very rare. And I've been as sick as being paralyzed in bed for 15 years, unable to move, to working myself um, into being in a wheelchair and then being able to walk and then having setbacks. And the past two years were very hard where I, I I lost weight and I had kidney failures and blood poisoning. And because I then came under the care of the University of Miami, I had a lot of people uh, examining me and developing theories. And we discovered that, in fact, I had a birth defect and that there was therapy available for this. And that probably my immunological illness was a byproduct of, of the organs that were under functioning because of this birth defect and I could have therapy and this was in August and we started the therapy and it was painful but it started to work and I'm up to about a quarter of the way into it and and we can see it is starting to work and and blood tests and other things are showing that I'm becoming more healthy after all these years and I'm experiencing a tremendous sense of loss. Oh, this could have been fixed before. And why did I have to lose all that time? And I didn't have kids because of that. And bigger than that is, well, now what? I, I have a lot of fear about, well, I used to be able to do a lot of things. But now I'm a different person. So I'm dealing with a lot of fear and, and having trouble visualizing myself going forward. I have a lot of opportunities and I have fear. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, there, like we said, you know, there's a lot going on. And one of the things that, uh, 
when, before when we got on, we, I was speaking to you and I was saying that what is the biggest thing that's right in your face right now with regards to what you're feeling? And you had said that the fear was what was right there and you just expressed it, correct? Yes, I, for the first time in my life, for, I, I, I've always remembered my dreams and kept dream journals and worked with dreams. And suddenly I'm having nightmares about death. And I, I mean, really horrible nightmares that I've never had in my life. It was just terrifying. I wake up terrified. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I want everyone who's listening to know that as you're listening, you will also benefit from this work. Um, so as I'm working with Bonnie, just connect with what is your issue and um, just go along with it as I'm working because um, this is not, you know, there's a lot of boring benefits here for this. Okay. So Bonnie, let's get this fear. So where would you say it's at from zero to 10 right now? right now in this moment oh i'm around a nine nine okay and where do you feel that in your body oh in my intestines and a little in my heart chakra in your heart would you say it's in your heart heart the physical heart or would you say it's in your lungs More in my intestines where sorry Pardon? You broke up there. What did you say? No, I just said more in my intestines. More in your intestines? Yes. Oh, okay. And what's the sensation that you're feeling? A tightness, a gripping, discomfort. Okay. So let's go with tightness. So would you give that out of zero to ten to nine? Is that the same? Or is it different? Uh, no, it's less than a nine. It's that's around a, a, a six or a seven, or more like a seven. And there, and, there, and, okay. and it's, it's moving. Like, it's it's bigger in my heart now. It's it's big in my heart. It's a it's your, a nine in my heart. In your physical heart? Or no, chest? my heart chakra. Heart chakra. Okay. And the reason I'm asking all these questions is because um, each part of the body tells me something different and so that's why I'm just you know trying to be a bit more specific so okay so if you could just take three slow breaths into into what you're experiencing that tightness in your chest and um, your intestines just it's take three burning in your chest. it's burning and burning in your chest okay three slow breaths real slow take about a minute to do those and I'm going to um, do some work here. So everyone just tune into what you have and um, just receive this right now. Okay, so just Bonnie now tell me when you tune in now, is it different, smaller, or bigger in the intestines and chest? I feel no gripping in my intestines and in my chest. It's a lot of sadness coming up. Good. Yeah. You're experiencing that. So what, what would you say the, um, the sensation is with the sadness in your chest? It's kind of like a turning. Churning, okay. Would you say that's like waves? No, more churning, not like rhythmic. It's okay. Good. Okay, and what number would you say that's at? 
Oh, it's a seven or eight. It's pretty high. Okay. So can you just three slow breaths into that? Mm -hmm. Very slow. And everyone else as well. I'm sorry? I was just saying to everybody else to just oh, okay. breathe just as well. Into that. You, you just stay with what sensation you're experiencing in your oh, chest. Thank you. Okay, so why don't you just tune in now and let me know, is it smaller, bigger, or different? Oh, it the churning just went right down. Just went. Okay, What's, what are you feeling now, experiencing? Emotionally or physically? Yeah, you know, whatever you're feeling emotionally, whatever. Uh, anxious, I guess. So can we just go back to that fear now? Uh-huh. Um, and see where you're at with that. So that was that was like a nine. And you can feel into that now. Is it different, smaller, or bigger? Okay, I'm I'm going to say that right now I've been thinking about my fear in terms of a particularly large opportunity I have. Is that okay? Can I keep thinking of it in that way or do I need to think of it more globally? Is that what you had the nine on originally? Um, well, it's sort of representative of everything. Is okay, if I, so could let's do stick this, I could do it all. Yeah, well, let's stick with the global then. Okay. So where's that at now? Is it different it's it? Yeah, it's it's less fiery, less Okay. Less. So what number would you say? Seven plus eight minus maybe. Okay. So breathe into what's left and notice where you feel it in the body. But I feel like my intestine just swelled up. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, stay with that. Um, so just so that, you, you know, what we're doing right now when I'm getting you to get in touch with everything that you're feeling is things that we've not allowed ourselves to feel. Okay. And so now as you're feeling and it's you getting in touch with your consciousness, this is you starting to express that power in your DNA just by you being really present to what you feel in the moment. I'm right underneath tears. Good. If you Unnamed need to, tears. Unnamed tears. Yeah. And, and if you do need to, if they do come naturally, that's fine. Um, you know, so let's, let's, uh, can you, Three slow breaths into what's coming up with the intestines, that whole um, sensation that you're having. And uh, everybody else can join in. It's, um, it went from being ballooned out to being now kind of uh, ringing, like hands ringing, okay. stress. So can you breathe through three slow breaths into that, please? Yes. Okay. The hands separated. 
What do you mean? Calm. Much calm. It's calm. Calmer, yes. The hands separate. The hands that were ringing just sort of slowly separated. Okay, good. So let me just tell you what I just worked on in this particular situation um, was abandonment. Um, feeling abandoned by your mother. Um, also feeling of somehow along your ancestral lineage there was... Um, I just go with what comes to me in that moment. Um, so I'm just telling you what that is. Um, somewhere along the ancestral lineage, some... And we know things happen in history, you know, baby snatching, um, just abandoned in that kind of way where um, gut wrench, gut wrenching kind of situations where um, the baby was snatched from the mother or the mother felt it, the, the child felt it. Um, there was that um, also um, situations where um, you um, or anybody else went through any trauma where you felt abandoned. Um, so that's that's what was worked on. So we include all that. So what, what happens there is that as we're doing that, um, you're staying present. Actually, you're doing the work because you're staying present. You're allowing this consciousness to come through. And as... I'm just holding space here. And what happens is that um, by you holding that presence and consciousness and being authentic to what you're feeling, you're allowing these things to move. So we go back to the DNA and the blueprint. So the DNA is there and you had all this other stuff, you know, this abandonment or whatever it was, and that was influencing the DNA. And so now, as you stay present, you're becoming aware of this source within you. you. You are connecting to that. And that is the light that shines. And as you stay present, it shines through to what was and integrates that whole thing. So you were experiencing life through that and that fear that you were experiencing, that ringing in the, in the intestines, you know, was through that. And so now that's from what you've just said that it just kind of separated. So where, where is it now um, from zero to 10? The fear? Mm -hmm. It's way down. Um, a number, I don't know. Three, four somewhere in there okay so where do you feel the rest of that now we're in like my solar plexus okay butterfly -y. okay so what number is that at oh it's 11. wow okay <laughs> okay all right so could you do could you do three slow breaths into that? And this is about you stepping into your power. It's like almost like okay. So this is um, I'm going to do this out loud. So do you like the word creator or God or in source? Pardon me. What word do you like? Infant, uh, the creator, God, divine. Oh, it's all the same. The divine, any name. Okay. So infinite creator. So just take three slow breaths into your solar plexus. So infinite creator, for everything that led up to you not being in your, in your own power, feeling like the power was snatched from you, feeling that you are not connected or cannot connect to your body, feeling that there is this, um, feeling that you're being disempowered by the way that the body is and has been in any situation where you felt that you could not be in your power wherever in the past or any past lifetime or in any 
uh, of your any any time in your ancestral lineage when power was snatched away, and I don't mean power by authority power. I mean by true power, the power of the divine within us. And anywhere and any any time that that had happened, in any situation, any hurts, wrongs, sexually, physically emotionally, mentally, any of that, anything that led up to this and anything on a conscious or unconscious level or anything that may lead up to the, have led up to this or anything else, infinite creator, we ask that you allow your love to pour in. This is for everyone. Allow your love to pour in and fill every cell of your body with your divine light, your power, the divine power coming through in every cell of your body. Please forgive everyone involved. Everyone forgive each other, please and thank you. So just feel that now, is it smaller, bigger or different? Oh, big time different. I don't know what all the emotion was. It was totally unnamed. I, it just was waving through me. I feel filled with light. How do you feel about the fear now? What is that? Excuse me. It's okay. Um, do you need to blow your nose? Yeah, I just need a tissue here for a minute. Yeah, blow your nose if you need to. Um, I'm not afraid. So now that you're not afraid, how does it feel in the body? When you think about everything that's gone on, how do you feel now? I want to get well now. So there's a difference between I want to get well and... No, I, the, the more treatment I got, and, and it hurts a lot, um, and I'm looking at all this fear, it, it was hard to go to the treatments, it was hard to work with the quote homework to do the PT exercises and all the stuff I had to do along with it was very hard even though in I've been working to get well pretty industriously I mean not you couldn't work harder than I have uh, there's a shift in my heart I, I mean the fear isn't there now okay so the energy that's coming up is that I have to work so hard would you say that's true I had to, yes. I don't know if I still feel that or not. Okay, so tell me what you feel about that. Yes, I do still feel that. Yeah, okay, what number is it? Oh, a 10. 10. So can you see we went from fear, that was what was right in your face, so that was we were being authentic and present to what that was. And then now we're coming to, that's unraveled. So there's the DNA. And it was like right here, it was this energy that we worked on. And now it's like that has integrated into the light. And now we have the next layer. And it's like, well, actually, now I can become aware that I have to work so hard at this. Yes. And because ultimately it, it, when, when it, think about when we're in the womb, um, we, we don't actually have to do anything, do we? Because it just happens, right? And so what if we could look at this energy that you feel that you have to work so hard and, and, um, and see what, that, you know, what we can do with that and see what unravels from that. Okay, so... Where do you feel that? I have to work so hard. 
right? <laughs> my throat, my head. Your throat and head? Yes. Okay. okay. So what number would you say that is and what's the sensation? So everybody else, tune into the sensation. Tune into what you're feeling. It's just like this massive concentrate, focus, buzzing. What number? Hmm. Oh, eight to nine. I mean, it's not a maximal, but it's high. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Okay. So breathe into that. Um, and for everyone else, we all have this, that we're working hard at something. So, you know, breathe into whatever you're feeling right now, whatever your issue is. So three slow breaths, Bonnie. Thank you. Okay, now feel that. Is it smaller, bigger, or different? It changed. It was like I, it, when I focused on it, I felt like there was a helmet on my head, and it was almost completely gone. It was like lifting up and dissolving. We were, I was like almost there when you spoke. Okay, and what about the throat? Because you said it was around the throat too. Um. So hard to tell because I also have a sore throat. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's there. I don't think it's there. Okay. So now feel into um, that every you know being so hard to 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 just to be healthy. Well, that was part of the helmet lifting off. It was like there's nothing holding you back. It's your natural state. You don't have to work. So feel Natural that. Healthy. So when you feel that energy of, okay, I have to work really hard at this, is that feeling different? Feel the energy of that rather than... Yeah, the feeling. buzz is gone. Okay. If the buzz turned into a helmet that was on top of me, it was like this thought prison of, of forced work, and then it just lift it off and dissolved and it was like, no, you don't need that. You don't, you don't need that. Okay. So now think about your health and think about moving forward. How's that feeling? Good. Yeah? Yeah. In what way? Um, I've spent so much of my life uh, in my mind and in, and not, I mean, I was, a, I've been a dancer too, so it's not like I haven't been in my body and working with chakras and that sort of thing, but I've used my mind a lot and uh, I've used it to help myself get well with various techniques like EFT and so on. And this was just, a lifting off of the thought process and just being I'm just that that's all it would take now. I don't have to think my way into health anymore. I did my job. I got myself as far as I needed to go. Now the health can come through. That's something you're actually feeling? Yeah. Right this okay. second. That happened yeah. just now. I'm stunned. Okay. Good. And this is where now you're allowing that consciousness to come through, and you've done that in this whole session. Pretty cool. You did it. And this is the power of what can happen when you express that power in your DNA. 
Thank you. <laughs> I am always humbled by this because it, it's just so great to witness, you know, when we can stand back and allow that presence to come through that this is, this is, this is what can happen. I mean, you went from feeling fear and feeling like you have to work so hard at your health. I mean, there's, I don't know if you can notice, but there's a lightness in your face. That's great. I feel light. I feel good. Yeah. Happy. Grateful. Grateful. Okay. Wonderful. Well, Bonnie, I am really, really, truly grateful for you and for you willing to, to do this work online and to show people um, what can happen when we come into our presence and consciousness. Um, and so for everyone listening, you know, I would love to hear your feedback. Um, because also, like I said, as I was working on Bonnie, you too were getting the benefits of this. And so, you know, write in the comments, uh, share. Um, I'll be putting this on, on YouTube. And if anybody wants to um, share um, how they feel and, you know, when they've watched the video, you know, please comment um, and, and let me know. And just to let you know, if you want to be, you know, part of this, I'm doing the Genome Alchemist Club. Um, the link is uh, here above the video um, and in YouTube it will be below, obviously. Um, if, you know, you're interested, this is the kind of work that is going to be happening in the Genome Alchemist Club. Um, it is you stepping into your power. This work, we, this year, feels like each one of us we're ready to step into our own presence. And my mission, my vision for this planet is that each one of us steps into that. Because when we do that, we shift. And we all saw how Bonnie, you know, courageously, thank you again for sharing online how this can happen. So if that's something that resonates with you, then, um, you, you know, you're more than welcome to join me on that club, in the club. Um, and again, thank you, Bonnie. Oh, thank um, you. Anything else you want to add to before we finish? And how are you feeling? I, I'm you just stunned. I'm stunned and really grateful. Thank you. Okay. Well, I mean, keep us posted, Bonnie, and um, let me know how you get on. And I feel will. free to share. Yeah. I'm grateful. Thank you. Very okay. Much. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Take care, everyone. Yeah. Bye.